And now I'm going to pray, and Diane's going to accompany me. <sighs> In this holy moment of right now, I remind myself of the truth of life, that life is, is that first cause of all creation. Life is that presence and power that is divine mind everywhere present. Life is the actor and the action and activity. Life is nature and the beauty that we see in the mountains, in the ocean, in the deserts, in the prairies. Life is right here, right now. And I'm speaking this word in the first person for each one of us. What I know with all my heart and soul is I am one with that presence. And that presence is for me. It's a presence for good, a power for good. And it guides and uplifts and inspires. I know that I can make a difference if I am in my home or if I'm in my spiritual center. If I'm in the grocery store, I'm making a difference. I'm making a difference whether my face is covered with my mask or whether I'm barefaced. I'm making a difference because I know who I am. And I know that that knowing means I know who everyone else is. I know that each and every one is in my life on purpose, with purpose. That each and every one is making a contribution to life by being. And every point of view is valued and valuable. I speak this word that having listened to that still voice, having courted the presence, I give up my relationship with the absence, with the problems, with the, with the issue. I give up my relationship with the fear. I am free from it because it is a no thing. I give up my relationship with anything that doesn't, doesn't resemble the good, the God that is the truth of me. And I embrace all of those things that are good for me. I embrace health. I embrace financial freedom. I embrace prosperity. I embrace joy. I embrace fellowship and community. I embrace this community. And so I know for each and every one, as I know for myself, right now all is well and all shall be well. I'm so very grateful for knowing what I know. It's complete. It's done. I release it to law. And so it is.